All right, just like the Target haul, we're just jumping right into this. No like formal intro or anything because again, if you guys watch the Target haul, I wasn't planning on sharing this, but since I got a bunch of stuff, you guys love to see the variety. You let you, I had a lot of questions on what I was doing for the holidays. So I figured I would share with you guys everything. I am not going to be popping up prices because again, this is not on my, it wasn't on my regular schedule. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that cat down stitch. No, sir. But, um, and so I don't have time to do that. It takes a little bit longer to add the prices into grocery haul. So I do apologize for that. I know over 90% absolutely love seeing the prices, but the total was a little over 500. HEB was a madhouse. It was packed. So I wasn't really paying attention when I was checking out. I was just trying to get out of there. So this is everything we came home with. I'm gonna start over here and that way I can go ahead and take these into the kitchen for the kids and Mark. But this is what we picked up for a lunch today. I got Rose. Wait, this one i got rose the nacho uploaded lunchable comes with a water bottle a flavor packet and a fruit roll up and then the chips with queso and salsa and then i got bryce the sandwich uploaded lunchable also has the water bottle with the flavor packet it comes with pringles and then two hershey kisses and the sandwich is turkey and cheddar and i think it comes with a little mayo packet as well so i got that for him and then of course since we went to H-E-B, Mark and Pearl get the sushi. So I think he got the same exact one. Yeah, so these are both the all-star combo. You can see right here, it was $11.99 each. It has a San Antonio roll, a tempura roll, and then a spicy California roll. So that is what they're gonna have for lunch today. All right, we're back behind the table now. I put the lunch items in the kitchen so they can start eating, but I, I knew I might forget these items. I couldn't fit everything on the table. We got quite a bit. So over here, I just have a loaf of bread. I know this was like under a dollar. So I just got the Hill Country Fair, which is one of H-E-B brands, thin sliced and rich bread for sandwiches. I got these veggie straws. Um, some of the cousins that are coming and staying with us, they're younger. They're like eight and five she might be six eight and six or eight and five and they really like veggie straws so i picked up this bag of central market veggie straws for them the rotisserie chicken i got in the original this is actually i'm going to be making some chicken chili one night for dinner we're going to have it with quesadillas that way there's something for the kids as well um, so i'm going to use this rotisserie chicken in the chili it picked up some cupcakes just to surprise the kids for an extra dessert or not an extra but the dessert for after dinner tonight so i got a four count of the birthday cake cupcakes and then a four count of the cookies and cream cupcakes so we've got some vanilla and some chocolate going on all right now let's go back over here to the table so i went ahead and picked up two packages of butter this is the salted butter heb brand or sweet cream salted butter there's four sticks in each package this one was dropped so it opened up but needed some butter this was just like a, a random i saw this when i was getting some yogurt and i remember the kids going bonkers over these they were like really blowing up and super popular maybe a year ago or something. And it's been a while since I picked anything like this up. So I saw the kitty gels, I picked them up. I don't know if our cousins will like them or not, but it's pineapple, orange, lemon, and strawberry. And it's just like, it's like a little jello packet is what it is. You, I don't know if it pops open or you cut it and you just like slurp it, you slurp it up. So the kids have a good time with this. So I picked that up. I needed some chocolate chips. Ooh, what did I need those for? Oh, I'm making stovetop hot cocoa one morning to go with breakfast. Well, Thanksgiving morning, I'm making um, homemade hot chocolate. So I needed the chocolate chips for that. I've got about five pounds of sweet potatoes. That's for a sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving. I'm running low on canola oil and I use this in a few things that I bake with. Plus I'm making those spicy crackers and those call for canola oil. So picked some of that up. I got several boxes of mac and cheese. These were under a dollar each, I think. They were either 98 cents or right at a dollar each, but I got a couple different ones and different varieties. So I think I got two of each. So I got two of the spirals. I got two of the unicorn shapes and then two of the thick and creamy. Yeah, and then these are the other one of that. We are having homemade lasagna one night for dinner. 
So I went ahead and picked up some garlic bread to go with that, the H-E-B Texas Toast. There's 16 slices in there, so that's gonna be plenty for the family that's coming in and staying with us. Um, I'm gonna be making some Fiesta Ranch, and Mark and Bryce love ruffles <laughs> with Fiesta Ranch. So had to pick up a bag of ruffles, heavy cream for a couple different recipes, got a quart of that. We've got all the drinks along the backside. So I'm gonna go ahead and go along the whole back to get these done. We got a 12 pack of the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. That green box down there is a 12 pack of regular Sprite. We asked you know, our family what they like to drink, so we picked up some of their favorites some of our favorites, a 12 pack of regular Dr. Pepper, then a 12 pack of the zero sugar Dr. Pepper and cream soda. We've got a, is this a 12 pack? Yes, a 12 pack of Mark's energy drink, the Monster Zero Sugar, is that what it's called? Zero Ultra Energy. Then we've got a 12 pack of Sweet Tea, the Pure Leaf brand. I like the subtly sweet ones. Um, I picked those up a couple times from Target, but they were out and everybody else likes sweet tea. Like, there's a meme or something about not having sweet tea when you're in Texas and I am that meme because I like unsweet tea or like barely sweetened tea while everybody else is like just pouring the sugar in, you know? So I went ahead and got the regular sweet tea for everybody. A 12 pack of Blue Moon, that is our favorite beer. And then I went ahead and got two gallons of whole milk. That's typical for like a weekly grocery haul. We go through two gallons in a week normally. And then I got a variety pack of the Gatorade Zeros. There's 12 in there. Oh no, there's 18. It's 12 ounce bottles, 18 pack. There's six berry, six glacier cherry, and six glacier freeze. And then I got that other blue one, like the cool, cool blue or cool freeze. I don't remember what it's called, but I got another blue one that was a different flavor at Target. So we're set on that. Okay, coming back over here. I really hope I don't forget anything because I'm not going to be going through the receipt when I'm editing <laughs> to see it. Normally that lets me know if I forget anything. Okay, this is my favorite cereal and I've only been able to find it. They have it on Thrive Market. I haven't ordered from them in a long time, but they have it at HEB. I can't find it anywhere else, but I love this. It's a really tiny bag. So I normally pick up two because I don't go to HEB all the time, but it's the Nature's Path Organic Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla vanilla. Really, really yummy. It says it's a medley of corn, rice, quinoa, flax, buckwheat, and amaranth. So got that. All right. We got two different dips here. I got a non-dairy dip and spread kale pesto. That is for actually the lasagna. I'm using one of the pioneer woman's recipes for lasagna. I have my own, but that one like takes forever and hers is like really quick and easy to throw together. So I'm using her lasagna recipe. I got the spinach dip. I am bringing not only sweet potato casserole, deviled eggs, and a veggie tray to Thanksgiving. And so I wanted to just mix it up. Normally I only bring ranch. So I got my spinach dip. This is my favorite from H-E-B. It's so delicious. So I got that. I'm gonna add that to the veggie tray for Thanksgiving. Um, for some of the dips that I'm making, I got three different containers of 16 ounce sour cream. So you, I'll show you guys the packets here in a little bit, but two of them I need for dips. So I'm taking three different dips for the veggie tray. And then the other one, I need sour cream in a couple different recipes. So I went ahead and just got a 16 ounce. So I make sure I have plenty. All right, we got some veggies for the veggie tray. I got this trio of peppers. It's got a red, yellow, and orange bell pepper in there. I got some sugar snap peas, celery sticks, uh, that's for the veggie tray. This is actually for a salad. We're gonna have a big like salad bar on the side of our lasagna. So I went ahead and got romaine hearts for that. The broccoli is for the veggie tray. Matchstick carrots are for the salad. Carrot sticks are for the veggie tray. And then I've got three English cucumbers here. One is for the salad. Two is for the veggie tray. The cucumbers definitely go first. That's why I kind of doubled up on the cucumbers. All right, I had to pick up these Italian chestnuts. I love roasted chestnuts. I just, they're just my jam. Nobody else in the house likes them. All the kids tried them last year and they were like, eh. I think Pearl was the only one where like, eh, it's, it's okay, but I'm the one who loves them. So those are mainly for me. Maybe the kids will try them again since it's been a year and they'll like them, who knows. Apple pie spice, I probably have all the seasonings on hand to make this but I just went ahead and picked it up. <laughs> I'm sure I have all the different ones to make it, but I just got the apple pie spice. That's actually for an Instant Pot recipe. Hopefully you guys will see coming up. You guys are gonna see these two grocery hauls first, but then I have a couple different food um, videos that I'm filming as well for like ending out November. All right, I got some salami, some fresh sliced salami from the deli. This is for sandwiches. We're gonna have sandwiches one day for lunch when all the family's in town. Two cans of the cannellini beans. That is for the chicken chili. I think that's a Pioneer Woman recipe also. 
It's from one of her cookbooks. I just grabbed a cookbook to work through um, while family's in town. I haven't utilized my cookbooks in a long time. All right, I got a pack of Danimals. There's 12 in here. I thought this would be something great to have on hand for younger kiddos. There's six watermelon and six strawberry in there, plus Rose likes these. All right, pie crust. I did pick some up from Target, but I double checked the amount and I did need four more. So I picked up two boxes, four crusts, total I needed those I'm making homemade pop tarts that's what I need all of those for and that is something that I plan on filming hopefully so you guys should see that coming up all right again taking the easy route easy peasy lasagna I want to spend less time in the kitchen when family's here more time with them so I got the oven ready lasagna I don't have to like pre-boil those or anything cashews it's one of our favorite nuts to snack on and we already went through that entire container that we got from Sam's Club not too long ago so got a big bag of that it's two and a half pounds I think that was $19.99. I'm not good at remembering prices, but if, if I do, I'll, I'll let you know. But $19.99 for that. All right, we've got, I think I only got a couple non-food items, but the shampoo, I got the cheapest one I could find at H-E-B. So it's the Suave um, Sleek and Smooth Shampoo. And then I got a little bag of flour, all-purpose flour. This is actually for cloud slime. You just need those two ingredients. Um, no specific measurements. You just kind of put some flour in there, squirt some shampoo and work it and add what you need until it becomes slime. The girls saw a little video on TikTok. They wanted to try it. And with them having the whole week off from school, plus the weather is not that great. I don't, I, I'm not, tell, I can't tell on the camera, but it's super overcast. It's pretty dark. It's, it's pretty bright for the camera. So I'm excited about that. It's not super cloudy or anything for you guys, but, um, it's going to be kind of yucky all week while they have off of school. So I was trying to find some stuff for them to do inside. So got that. They're going to be excited about that. I didn't tell them I was picking it up. All right. I got some parsley. I don't remember that's what that's for. The lasagna, maybe the chicken chili. I, I don't remember, but I got some parsley. I can put it on anything. Corn muffin mix is actually for another recipe that I'm making in the instant pot. So I'm hoping to bring you three different pop tarts and three different instant pot recipes. And those are going to be two different videos coming up after these food hauls. So I got that Excedrin migraine. It's just the only thing that works on my headaches. And I love family. I love the holidays, but the, it, it can get a little stressful and the headaches come on. So I needed some more of that. So got some, and then we got the big, the big one too. There's 200 caplets in there. So we're going to be good. All right. Ricotta cheese. What is this? 15 ounce. This is for the lasagna. I think I got everything over there. Okay. Let's come over here. We'll do the packets. So for the dips for the veggie tray, I got that spinach dip. I'm going to make Fiesta Ranch. Like I said, the boys love this stuff. I mean, everybody loves Fiesta Ranch with veggies. The boys like it with ruffles. So I've got to make some of that. And then I went ahead and picked up a packet because I need one for the chicken chili and I need, and I want one to make just a regular ranch dip just in case somebody doesn't like the Fiesta Ranch. We've got a few more family members coming to Thanksgiving this year. I'm super excited. Um, so I'm going to make a normal one. And then I just wanted to make sure I had some more as a backup. So I got the four count box of that. All right. And then for one of the instant pot, I'm going to make a dinner and it calls for brown gravy. So I got two packages of ground gravy, gravy mix for that. Tomatoes galore. So flavor bombs. We normally pick these up at Sam's Club. I've never seen them at HEB before. So these are just for snacking. It does say great for cooking on there, but these are really good. If they're anything like the ones from Sam's. So I went ahead and picked these up at, for snacking on. And then I saw these ones, sugar bombs. Never picked these ones up before either. So I went ahead and got both of those for snacking over the next you know, week, week and a half. And then this one is for the veggie tray. I like the two different kinds in here. So we've got the yellow and the red tomatoes, the two-step. And then the angel sweet tomatoes are going to be for the salad. I might not use this whole container. It's a pretty big container, but we shall, we shall see. So I got that. Um, I forget what these are called. Barillo. I feel like that's not right. There's no sticker on here either. Um, but I mean, they're labeled a certain kind of like a sandwich bun. So I went ahead, I think I got 10 total, but this is going to be four hour sandwiches one day for lunch. I think we're doing that on Friday. Yeah. Friday we're having sandwiches for lunch. So I got that. Okay, back there, Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Pick those up. It's one of Rose's favorite cereals. And since I know that she loves it, I went ahead and got the, backs, the box that says two bags inside. So we're set. We've got lots of Frosted Flakes. We've got the Fruity Pebbles. We got the Captain Crunch, the Christmas Captain Crunch that I picked up at Target. So we're good when it comes to cereal. All right, if you guys have an HEB, I don't know. I have not seen these two items at Target or Walmart. 
Um, I haven't looked for them at like a specialty store or Sprouts or Whole Foods or anything like that. But if you guys have an H-E-B, I want you to go get these two items and try them out. I've shared them before. My mom actually showed me this combination a couple years ago when we went to the lake for the summer. And it is so good. So these Philo Crisps, the Cranberry Oat with the Brie Bites, they're super yummy. So you just, what I do is I cut the Brie in half and it, it's, so, it's a soft cheese, so it's spreadable, and I just spread it on the cracker, a half on each cracker, and it is so delicious. So I had to pick that up <laughs> as a little like game snack or something with family in town. I got two bags of mini marshmallows. I need one for the sweet potato casserole, and then I wanted to have some on hand for hot chocolate, some light brown sugar, need that for a couple different recipes, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making brown sugar Pop-Tarts. So I wanted to make sure I had enough brown sugar for that. All right, we've got more fresh produce over here. These uh, tiny cucumbers are just for snacking on. I got a handful, what is this, five avocados for, we're gonna be making guacamole when we have the chicken chili. And then um, just in case anybody wants some with like eggs in the morning for breakfast or something like that. So went ahead and got that. I got a little container of blackberries. We got some raspberries. I also found some figs. So we got some figs. Definitely got a lot of fruit option. All right, Rose has been into freezing blueberries and eating them straight out of the freezer. She's like, it tastes just like candy. And she only likes the blueberries. We tried it with grapes. I don't think she tried it with strawberries, but she really likes the jumbo blueberries straight out of the freezer. So I made sure to get a package of those for that. And then I got a package of strawberries, a bag of apples for snacking, and I'm gonna be making a caramel apple bread in the Instant Pot. So I needed some apples for that. And then these are Bryce's favorite tortillas. When he was younger and they used to, I don't think they do it anymore. I don't know if it's because of, you know, what happened or whatnot, but they used to, I mean, they still make them fresh in the store, but they would hand out samples and stuff. And anytime Bryce went with me to HEB when he was younger, he would always get a tortilla and eat it. And he just loved it. <laughs> so I went ahead and got two packages. There's 20 in each, but we are going to be making some quesadillas one night to go with the chicken chili. And so, you know, this will make 10 quesadillas, a pack of 20. So I wanted to make sure I had extras also because the kids like to have tortillas for different things in the house. All right, two packages of sliced mozzarella. This is actually for the lasagna. Like I said, her recipe, I, I like reading her little stories too. She, in the cookbook for the Pioneer Woman's lasagna, she was like, I promised my boys lasagna. It was getting late and I didn't have time to make like you know, one where you're simmering the sauce for an hour and a half or whatever and boiling the noodles and all of that. So she looked around, she used like pesto sauce, jarred marinara sauce, sliced cheese. She had like all the easy things. So she whipped up an easy peasy lasagna. So that's the one I'm gonna try. I'm sure it's gonna be good. I have not made one of her recipes yet that we have not liked. All right, Monterey Jack cheese. I think this is for I don't remember, the chicken chili possibly, uh, maybe the lasagna, I have no idea, but I know that was for one dinner <laughs> that I'm making, so I got a little bag of that. Um, we're gonna be doing some biscuits and gravy for breakfast one day. I think we're doing that Friday morning for breakfast, and I needed some biscuits for that, so I got two packages of the Grand's Flaky Layers, and there's eight in each package, so that'll be yummy one morning for breakfast. The mixed vegetables, this is for a recipe. I think this is for the Instant Pot recipe that I'm gonna be making. So I got a bag of those. The fire roasted corn is for the chicken chili. So I got a frozen bag of that. Cottage cheese back there. I love to add cottage cheese on my salad. So does Pearl. So we had to make sure we had that on hand. I'm gonna be cooking some hard boiled eggs and dicing those up. And we're just gonna have, like I said, like a little um, salad bar so people can add different things, whatever they want into their salad and have that with lasagna. All right, I needed some barbecue sauce. That's actually also for the Instant Pot dinner that I'm, I'm going to be making. And Mark's Good Stuff is actually our favorite salsa brand and they have barbecue sauce now. So I went ahead and picked up their sweet and spicy barbecue sauce to try in that recipe. And then of course, right next to it is the salsa. So I wanted that for when we have quesadillas and with the guacamole, we already have some chips. So we'll have like a, a nice little Tex-Mex spread there with that chicken chili. All right, over here, I went ahead and got another creamer. I was gonna get like a full sugar creamer, but I just don't drink those. So I just got a zero sugar. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Like our, our family's not super picky there. I don't think they're gonna care, but I, I got the cinnamon roll one at Target and I was like, uh, if they want something more, 
not normal, but you know, creamy or whatever. I got the Italian sweet cream. That's always a favorite. So I picked that up just to have two different options when it comes to coffee. I got a bag of oranges, the little cuties or Bella mandarins is what these ones are called. These are super easy for younger kids and just an easy item to add to lunches and stuff. All right, we got some corn, some cans over here. So I'm gonna make a corn casserole. I got one can of cream style corn and one can of whole kernel corn. That's actually in the Instant Pot, so that's gonna be a recipe. The diced green chilies, I think this is for the chicken chili. So I got two cans of that. Um, I picked up, this is not for anything specific, but Pearl and I and Mark love the Southern breaded okra. So I picked that up just to put in the freezer and have, we can either, like have it randomly <laughs> any time of the day or add it onto a dinner or something. All right, we got some lunch meat here for sandwiches. I think I got the cheese over here too. Yes, so 7.68 for this little over a pound of honey smoked turkey breast. Then this one is ham. What is this? 5.53 for half a pound of honey ham. And then for the cheeses, I got $4.90 for a little over half a pound of the Colby Jack mini horns. And then, sorry, I didn't have these sitting correctly. $7.61 of almost a pound of Munster cheese. This is my favorite for sandwiches. I like the Munster cheese. So we got all of that. This is also for the lasagna. Like I said, she said it was just easy peasy throw together. So she, her recipe called for pre-cooked sausage crumbles and this is what i got jimmy dean fully cooked pork sausage crumbles <laughs> so got that for the lasagna and then i think hopefully i didn't forget anything but last but not least i did get two bo boxes so there's three dozen in each box 36 eggs um, so i got two six dozens six dozen of eggs because i'm gonna hard boil some for the salad i'm taking heart or deviled eggs for thanksgiving so i'm gonna make like probably 24 of those because they go fast and then I wanted to make sure we had plenty of eggs on hand. We're gonna do scrambled eggs probably twice for breakfast. Everybody loves scrambled eggs and baking and stuff like that. So tons of eggs, but whew, now I gotta call the hubby in and we can get all this stuff put up. But thanks so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I do typically share prices, um, but like I said, this was just a last minute. I was like, you know what? This is a pretty big haul. I'm gonna share it. Give you guys ideas, tell you what I'm doing with everything. So maybe these videos will be going out before Thanksgiving. I don't know. It'll give you ideas or something like that with the kids being, you know, off school, home all day. A lot of their friends are actually like out of town. So they're not going to be, you know, they're going to be inside and stuck with mom all Thanksgiving break. So definitely wanted to have some fun things on plan and fun foods and activities and stuff like that. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.